This is Mr. Cube 6, and a few months ago, he created the most terrifying map in all of Minecraft. <laughs> Oh my God. But I think I can do it better. So I'm gonna build eight of the creepiest rooms I can, disguise them as a fun little escape room, and invite my YouTuber friends to be scarred for life. But creating this escape room wouldn't be easy, because Minecraft just isn't that scary. If I wanted to truly creep my friends out, I was going to need to cover three bases. Firstly, textures. Minecraft blocks don't freak anybody out. Luckily, Minecraft has a thing called resource packs, which easily allows you to change how everything looks, meaning that a hallway of stone can suddenly turn into nightmare fuel with just three file changes. But that won't be enough, hence why we have plan number two, music and sounds. These may seem useless, but music and sound effects are going to be instrumental in scaring people. Think of Minecraft caves, they're not that spooky. But play this sound and you'll quickly find a new ingot in your leggings. But neither of these parts are nearly as important as the third aspect, the rooms themselves. When Mr. Cube made his map, he redesigned one of the creepiest places in internet history, the back rooms. An empty, dull, and infinite set of office cubicles where you are never alone. But since that video dropped, the back rooms have expanded from one level to over a thousand. Chronically online, motherfuckers. So if we want to one-up Cube, we're going to need to take the most terrifying back rooms levels, recreate them as real realistically as possible and added some extra details to scare my friends. <laughs> and that's not to even mention the final room which literally breaks the laws of Minecraft. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss the reactions to that room. There's so many, dude. Oh my god. How are we going to look through all of these entities lord 21? <laughs> what is this? What is this? So after three hours of searching every single backrooms level, I came back with the four scariest rooms. The living room, an eerily empty room with a dark staircase and cold kitchen. The pool rooms, a lifeless tiled room flooded with water. The forest, a dark maze with some leaf wallpaper. And finally, the end, an old dusty library with empty shelves and was taken directly from my dreams in the early 2000s. These are the four backrooms levels I plan to recreate alongside four other rooms that I specially designed to make my friend's skin crawl. And after hours of mining and recreating the textures, the rooms were slowly coming along. But I knew that my friends wouldn't be terrified by some retextured blocks. So I went ahead and remodeled some items from the spaces, which I could hide in item frames to create custom models. And instantly, the rooms became significantly more creepy. Oh my god, it actually has the text. <laughs> that is insane. I mean, just look at this window. This is barely even Minecraft anymore. But just as progress was coming along, a familiar face logged on. Mr. Cube 6, the creator of the Backrooms map. And even though my rooms weren't ready yet, I knew that this was the perfect opportunity to ask him an important question. Hello. Hey Cube, what's going on? I wanted to uh, I wanted to send you a video really quickly and just get your opinion on it. This is not my video. This is just a video that I, I just want to get your your reaction on it. Okay, I'm recording as well. Ooh, backrooms. This looks backrooms esque. I'm nervous now, bro. You got You're me nervous? like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, like, you're good. gonna try to make something or like. Bro. The video I sent Cube consisted of unsettling pictures and music. But although sending him this video may have seemed like a lazy attempt at hinting my escape room, my true plans were much deeper. My goal of showing him this video was to see his reaction, to see how he would respond to the pictures, but more importantly, the music. Music is super important in scaring people. After all, Disc 13 in Minecraft is well known for creeping the ever-living hell out of anyone who plays it. Except for parrots, they bop to that sh**. Clearly, if I wanted my escape room to be the creepiest it could be, then music was necessary. However, because the backrooms doesn't have a specific genre of music, and my audio library's only song related to the backroom sounds like this, I was forced into making the music myself. And considering every song I've ever made is bedroom pop, I'm just hoping it doesn't take like four hours to make the songs. Well, shit. But in the end, I had created seven different songs, all of which had that creepy aura that I was looking for. There was the classic vintage sounding jazz song. Then there were the songs that sounded like you were in a weird dream. And then there were the songs that made you feel like you were on the verge of being murdered in cold blood, which meant that I had done my job right. And to make the songs even creepier, I also overlaid the hints for each room and played around with the effects until my voice went from this, you should subscribe, to this, you should subscribe. You heard the creepy voice. Subscribe, <laughs> please. He'll take me to his dungeon if you don't subscribe. Please just subscribe. I don't want to go down to his dungeon. And to top off each room, I also added a few extra little funny features, which you're about to see. And now it was time to scare some YouTubers and hopefully be deemed the king 
of creepy. Vortex Dragon, are you ready for the escape room? Yes. I I'm ready to pass in first try. I am so ready. Holy sh**. Now I'm ready. Yes! <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Parrot X2, you are ready for the escape room? Yep. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Ah! Welcome to the V-Terrain escape room. You have been locked inside and have to solve six puzzles to escape the following six rooms. Your first clue oh goes gosh. as follows. Stay ahead of the game. Keep yourself in the loop. Okay. That's awesome. Gosh, I just want to play that again. That was some nice background music. Room one was the introductory room. Nothing was scary. No textures were changed. It was just a normal introduction. Yet players already felt uneasy. Oh, that was that was awesome. Feels like I'm in the back rooms. Okay, so in four corners of the room, I see four different signs. 1.11, who was it? 1.12, when was it? 1.13, how was it? Um, it was, it was okay. <laughs> 1.13, how was it? Lame. Stupid. Dumb. At 1.14, what was it? I'm in the loop! Gah! What's this loop? Prince Zam in a loop. What will he do? I'm like running around in a loop, kind of. That's like, deep. There's a well. Oh. Uh. I am stuck in the well. Do I have to jump into this well? Oh no. Oh, he's gonna get stuck. Uh... Saran, remember when I said I was the smartest life swim member? I'm starting to doubt that already. What was it? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Is he Googling it right now? The answer is bees? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm so good about that one. I <laughs> shoot. Oh, the answer is you can strip logs. Okay, it's First of all, it's one word. Second of all, it's not even close to that. I'm just, man, I'm just sitting on this well right now. I am, I am, Saran, you're getting me depressed. The answer is update. Holy <laughs> He got that so quick. Oh my gosh, it opened up. I'm guessing, I'm guessing these are Minecraft updates. They're updates, I guess. Is the answer update? Oh, what? Stay ahead of the game, though, makes me think it's updates. 1.14, what was it? An update? Oh my god, he actually got that so quick. <laughs> okay. Updates. Holy sh**. Let's go. <laughs> room two stepped up the creepiness quite a bit. Not only was this room much smaller than the previous level, but it was much more eerie. What the? Oh my gosh, I hear creepy noises. What the? What is that sound, dog? Hello? Where are you? I'm so scared. What are these sounds? Dude, this noise is freaky, dude. Terrain. This music is. Oh no. Welcome oh god. To the pizzeria. <laughs> An area that may seem vaguely familiar. Oh no. This specific pizzeria is owned by Ivan Hendricks, who will cook you any pie you'd like. Dear All God! you need to say are the magic words. I'm closing my eyes, I'm scared. So Ivan Hendricks, no clue who that guy is. Kendrick Lamar. Say some open. Sesame open. Sesame open? <laughs> this looks like a, this is not a real door. This is not a real door. Why is this a fake door? Please. Please. The answer is please. The answer is please. The answer is please. Can I get a pie? Please. Oh! Oh. <laughs> but nobody could predict level three. It's freaking gone! Oh, I want to stay in the pizzeria. <laughs> this was the first of the backrooms levels, and immediately, players were becoming uneasy. I'm even more scared now. Oh god, it gets worse. Please stop. Oh no. <laughs> I did not understand what that said. The effects of the voice are uh, something about staying inside and children. This is creepy as frick. The answer is creepy. <laughs> the answer is aliens. He was really confident about that one too. The answer is back rooms. The answer is outside. The answer is sun. The answer is safe. Train, uh, can you see me in the room? Yes, I can see you in the room. Uh, you see I'm bleeding? I need to be escorted out. You need to be escorted out? <laughs> I'm bleeding everywhere. <laughs> solar, the answer is solar flare. The answer is stranger what? things. What? Oh, oh, siren head. <laughs> what a siren head. Okay, that was off. I want yeah, Jaren to know that he's keeping me strong through these trying times. Thinking boat, thinking boat, thinking boat. The answer is a giant frog. The answer is that one Sherlock Holmes book. What reference is this man making? Is there fog in the room? There is, yeah. It's like over here. What the f- <laughs> ah! The answer will be clear. 
Glass. Is the answer glass? Oh my gosh, there's a sign. Since when did the sign appear? The answer will be clear. What is clear? Like a toad? What? Did he just say that? Is is the answer the outside world? No, that, that's not one word. I'm stupid. Why are you putting on armor? <laughs> I'm so scared. The answer is a trident. The answer is an ender dragon. The answer is a wither. This man, this man the is, is chronically ender. Minecraftian. The answer is not Minecraft related is what the answer is. <laughs> Dang it! Um, <laughs> I thought it was on something there. The answer is the opposite of fog. The answer is clear. The answer is the. The answer is answer. The answer is will. The answer is be. The answer is clear. It appears with the fog. Kidnaps children? What? <laughs> the answer is is gray. The an What? Outside, clear, viewable. The answer is sky. The answer is the sun. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> is the answer the sky? The answer is the sky. Is the answer sky? The answer is sky. The answer is sunlight? The answer is sky? <laughs> Let's go! Could my contestants handle level four? Water, 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 but oh, that's bright. Ooh. This was the second backrooms level, the pool rooms, with an equally ominous hint. Attention, all swimmers. Swimming pool is now closed. Please exit the pool immediately. No! Again, the swimming pool is now closed for the day. Please exit the pool immediately. Don't be dumb. Be the brain. We hope to see you again. You know what? I'm not gonna listen to the lady. I'm gonna go in the water. Coral. The answer is disease. The answer is poo, poo in the water. The answer is pee in the water. <laughs> <laughs> is the answer Tyler the Creator? What? 2020, 2020 vision. Cupid hit me, Cupid hit me with a Oh, this pool is cool, dude. I could just chill down here and like watch all this cool shaders. Shaderness is. Shaders? All these cool shaders. These tubes are cool. So I feel like they might have something to do with it. Or you just like going over the top. See the brain? The answer is brain. The answer is coral. The answer is tube. Yeah, it's coral brain. <laughs> <laughs> is he rubbing his face? Oh, oh, I see something! I see something! What is that clue up there? The answer is run. Here he goes. Oh, shoot. The answer is R Y N. Oh, the answer he's, is Rin? he's almost there. He's almost there. Rin. Oh! How does nobody know about the engraving? The answer is R Y N. He's so close. He's, he's, he's missing uh, the letter in the middle. Or uh, R V N. The answer is R V N. No. Oh my god. Okay. Farther, farther from the. The trip. answer is quotation marks open R Y or R V N. Quotation marks closed. Maybe it's R. The answer is R U N. Y you you -N spelled it right. You spelled it. R V N? No. Oh my god. No. Red. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like god this guy. Yo, bro, you need better handwriting. It's etched. It's etched into it. Think about this. Uh, the answer is R U N. What word does that spell? Oh, Vortex. oh, the answer is wrong. The answer is wrong. The answer is wrong. <laughs> is the answer run? <laughs> wow. Oh, the answer is run. Wait. Oh my no. Run. 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 Let's go. The answer is run. <laughs> Yeah, let's get out of here. Whoa, there's a maze. What is that sound? What the? Crickets, 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 crickets. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the void. Yeah, Jaren, I'm so afraid. Oh God, why? I'm sorry. Oh yeesh, that was scary. So a wise man once told me that you should always go to the right. Okay, this is already a dead end. Please, oh, oh. please, please. I just want to get out of here, please! But although this level was already creeping people out, the maze had something else in store. Ah! What the f*** is that?! I'm glad you asked. This is Donahue Tortillery. He's here to scare the shit out of you. In the case that anybody wasn't at least slightly uncomfortable now, I put Donahue at the end of this tunnel alongside the lever that opens the next room. Except that's not the only thing that the lever did. I don't want to go near it. I don't want to go near it. I don't want to go near it. Serene, if it jumps me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cry. I don't want to cry in your video, please. Oh. Oh no. Dad? Whoa. Bro, that's way too freaky. Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> what is. I... Oh, it's... I can get. It's closer to me. Oh, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. 
Please, Mom, I don't want to go near him. Please don't hurt me. Oh, oh my God, please stop. Please stop. Please. I don't want to flick the lever. I don't want to flick the lever. He's going to do something to me. I flicked it. God, that's creepy. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate you, bro. <laughs> I could hear him jump so hard. <laughs> what did I get scared by that? You're just expecting me to walk up here and pull the lever? <laughs> Yeesh, I did that to myself. I found a lever. What the fuck? Whoa, you absolute ass. I hate you so much. Oh my gosh, bro! At this point, the majority of contestants continued to level 7, with the exception of one, RecRap 2. See, one of my other contestants, Yajaren, happens to be RecRap's roommate. And knowing that RecRap has extreme paranoia... Dude, I'm having flashbacks. I've had the same thing happen like eight times. Well, it's just like the same thing over and over. It's like, oh, I got a, I got a, I got an escape room for you to try out, and then, yeah. I figured it was only right to give Rec his own special room to creep him out. But to do so, I would need the help of Jaren. And luckily... Oh, we have a no prank rule. Ah, it's just, it's... <laughs> I'll do it for you. I think it'd be funny. Pow! Boom! Yo! Oh my gosh! Wait a second! How did you get these pictures? This is my room. What? That's right. I built RecRap's entire real life office in Minecraft. Yo, this is actually dope. What the heck? This is cool. Yo, it's even got my slippers? And the beanbag? <laughs> what? How? What? <laughs> Needless to say, if the real backrooms couldn't freak Wreck out, then an accurate remodel of his real life room most certainly did the trick. Oh my gosh, that's a fake door. What? Why is Jaren in my closet? <laughs> <laughs> but with two levels left, the creepiness of these rooms was only about to amp up. The end. Oh. Oh. I have a feeling this is not the end yet. Hello, next room. I'm so scared. Oh, the end! Yo, oh my gosh, dude, terrain. This is so cool. You have custom resources for everything. Oh, ladder? Parkour? Dear Traveler, if you arrive in this hellish abyss of the room, you must understand one thing. If the lights flicker, do not move. If it's dark, then he is in the room. If you move, then he knows you are there. If he knows you're there, you're as good as dead. Remain calm, the lights will return soon, but in the brief period of darkness, stand completely still. In this room, there's no escape. Only the key. Yo, what the... Ah! Oh! What the f- ah! Drain? Why'd you fall? Why are the lights off, Drain? I'm scared. Please leave me alone. What was that? What was that, dude? Please. What the f What did I hear so many noises? I feel like if I move, I'll win. Like, this is reverse psychology. So maybe I just call the bluff next time. <laughs> or just morbid curiosity. Come on, I, whoever is he, I don't, I'm not afraid of he. I'll beat up he with my 38 golden carrots. I'm not scared of you, Ivan. Frick you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Screw you, Ivan! What the fuck? Oh. No movement. I, Prince Zam, will not move. I, Prince Zam, will not move. Oh, God. That's concerning. Hey, man. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I hear train walking in the background. I'm not moving. Like, key and computer, I just think passwords. See, maybe it's a username, maybe it's the guy's Ivan's username, and I have to hack into his Facebook. <laughs> wait, but there's only, wait, wait, wait. On, there's never an escape, only the key. Oh, come on, come on. There's an escape button that I'm clicking. I click help. Uh, is the answer snapshot bugs? Is the answer help? There we go, finally, he got it. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna chill me again, bro. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Help? Okay, that, that, that was a clever one. I gotta give you that one. The answer is help. That was clever. I wish I'd gotten that one. The answer... Oh my gosh. The answer is game menu. The answer is options. The answer is help. The answer is play... Oh, shoot. And now there's only one level left for the contestants, and nobody 
could possibly prepare for it. What is this? Is that a big sapling? Wait, what is this? Ah! What the void of dark with sauce, please connecting to the sapling bark. Can I jump off? This? You could leave or you could stay, regardless, your life will waste away. No danger presents itself it's a giant in sapling. this abyss. Nor do items or loot and bones from this. But no matter your thoughts while staying here, there's only one word that will show oh, God. the entrances clear. I'm horrified. Oh my gosh, how did you do this? This whole room defies the laws of Minecraft. Floating off axis jukeboxes in the sky, a four block tall sapling, and an endless void around the players. There's only one word that will make the entrance clear. So we're in a void and there's a sapling. I'm talking about the sapling. So the answer is growth. But while this room was meant to confuse the players, this answer was clear and visible the whole time. Tree. What does this tree have to do with anything? Okay, there's one word that will show the entrance. Sapling? You got through that room absurdly quick. <laughs> that was the fastest anybody's gotten through that room. They that told is crazy. me a goat. The answer is sapling. You got it. My friend, you had it. You got it. Wait, I said that at like the beginning, bro. No, you said tree. You said tree and then leaf and then you went on to growth. Nah. What? I've said sapling so many times. But you didn't say it one word. Oh my gosh. I think the answer is sapling. You got it. You get, it's sapling. Oh. It was sapling. Yo, that was so cool. Oh my God. I thought I was going to die like a million different times. The reason that I made this escape room was all because of Mr. Yeah. Cube 6. Because Cube, a while ago, made the back rooms. Do you think that this was creepier than Mr. Cube's back rooms? Yes. Bro, that jump scare, dude. Nah, that jump scare. Yeah, this was this was really creepy. I'm gonna be real. Like the music, like the music gave me heart attacks. Yes, definitely. I think you did. Let's go. No, okay. no, no, no. I I know you did. Let's go. I guess yeah. By default, you would win because I've played in yours. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay! I think you do. <laughs> Yay! Yo! Yay! But the real question is, what did Mr. Cube think? That was insanely creepy. Like, it, I think it. To be honest, I think it really was creepier than my back rooms. Let's go. <laughs> dude, you had like all the audio playing, you had the weird music, you had the different levels. It's honestly so cool.